Hello friends! Today we'll open the Dell XPS 139350. As always, you'll find everything about the laptop in our detailed text review on laptopmedia.com. The link is below the video. Let's go! To remove the bottom panel, we loosen its six screws. We're using a Torx T5 screwdriver. All screws share the same length, so there's no risk of mixing them up. With a thin plastic pry tool, we start popping the clips that hold the cover in place. Rotate the chassis and continue along the edge until the panel comes free. Okay, we're done with that part. The three cell battery is secured by six Phillips screws. Let's undo them using a JIS number one screwdriver. Next, remove the small bracket that holds the battery cable down. Grab here and pull the connector straight up to disconnect the pack. Don't forget to visit our top 100 laptops with the best battery life ranking page. You'll find it on laptopmedia.com. 
Dell XPS 131350 uses a 3 cell lithium ion battery rated at 55 watt hours. The nominal voltage is 11.55 volts. You can check the result of our battery life test in our detailed review. The link is below the video. We remove the little cover that sits over the wireless module to check it out. It's Intel's BE2001 module supporting Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4 with up to 5760 megabits per second transfer rate and 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz frequency bands supported. According to Intel, it is ready for next-gen AI workloads and bandwidth hungry tasks like 8K streaming or virtual reality. Let's remove the protective shield above the SSD slot. You can replace the SSD with any standard M2 drive up to 80 millimeters long once you reposition the standoff. This is a thermal pad and its job is to keep the temperatures of the drive lower. We ordered the one terabyte variant of XPS 13 and as you see, it arrives with a Kioxia B G6 solid state drive in the short M222 by 30 millimeter form factor, running on a PCI Express 4 slot. You'll find information about storage speeds and SSD reliability in the full review on laptopmedia.com. All memory is soldered LPDDR5X running at 8530 mega transfers per second, so what you order is what you keep. Cooling relies on two fans, twin heat pipes, and graphite pads that draw heat away from the voltage regulating components and the SSD. How effective is that thermal system? What about the display quality, benchmark scores and overall build? You'll find the answers in our detailed review on laptopmedia.com. The link is below the video. Thanks for being with us today. If you want us to open more machines, subscribe to our channel.